Moi mitakulu, it is joining. Welcome to this big ol' episode today where we catch up. So, first things first, it's been a while since the video before the video I just uploaded. And in that time, I've done a few things with my time, actually quite a few, and there was no uploads. But I was filming, and I have all the footage, and I'm ready to show you. So in that time, I did a whole lot of uni work. I did a whole lot of being sick. I bought a drone. Moi that cool. it is joining. Today, um, spending the day with Sam, we're gonna cook some meat and fly my drone that I just got. All right, so we got some kanga bangers. Well, they're not bangers. They're not bangers, no. We got some kangaroo because we're Aussie blokes. It's true. And yeah. we eat our national animals. It's a good point, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure moose tastes great. Or like, hawks. Oh, what are eagles, bold eagles. <laughs> we also got some shortcut beer can. We got some blue cheese. Blue cheese. Or then it's just. I don't know what yet. And we got some strawberry milks. <laughs> it is done. Okay, so we are going to fly this soon. We also just 3D printed this, which is a GoPro mount. We have a fine spread of bacon, a couple of crackers, some rice, some <laughs> kangaroo, half a taco shell, <laughs> and strawberry milk in pewter goblets. Pewter. Pewter. It's like when people say PewDiePie. That doesn't sound good. Pewter cup. I wouldn't want anything to be made in pewter. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't bad. Hey! You did it! Yeah! Oh, nice work. <laughs> I crashed a drone. Oof. Well, that was close. <laughs> We're burning daylight. You're gonna go with the drone on its voyage to the back paddock and back. I got better at flying the drone.
went to a party where they lit a pool table on fire. Here we go. No. Just like drench it on the table. I'm gonna do it smart, smart way. <laughs> Safety first. Whoa! <laughs> Got it, that's on. <laughs> the uh, flaming pool table. I have to Dad, you're terrible! <laughs> <laughs> So that was cool. I also hung on the outside of a car while driving down a hill in the middle of the night on a closed road. Don't don't go don't go doing that stuff on an on an open I mean just don't just don't do it. But if you're gonna do it, do it on a closed road. Oh. Uh, you got something on? Great, you gotta run. Go, go nuts. Let's go. go. Look at him, look at him. Look how chill. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, it's normal. Very squeaky. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Are uh, you guys ready? Yep. Oh, no. I'm gonna get my death on video. Yeah, that is the most like. Oh, God. And finally, not something I did, something Casey Neistat did that I just wanted to talk about briefly. Uh, he made his video about his summer trip. Summer. With Jesse. And then right at the end it says, uh, this is shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8, no filter or something like that. And people got so riled up and I feel like this has become my job here on YouTube where YouTube drama is created and I pop up and say, there's no drama. <laughs> People need to settle down. What did that do to you? If you watched that video and you're like, you either thought, huh, well that was a fun video or you thought, I don't really understand the point of that video. And then right at the end, it says, shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 and your head just explodes. All of a sudden, that is the worst injustice that could happen to you. No one should have to go through that. No one should have to put themselves through a few minutes of, of a fun video and then find out, oh no! He may or may not have been paid by Samsung to make that video. Everyone knows he's in with Samsung. Like, who really cares if you watched a video and then found out that they may have been paid to do it? Off topic, but last night I was up at about 4 a.m. just watching videos and stuff because I don't sleep when I'm supposed to. I, my phone goes off. And at, and at that time when it's just absolutely silent in the house and your phone vibrates and you scare the life out of me getting a text message. I check the text message and it says your food order has been delivered. We sometimes get the Australian equivalent of that cooking thing where you get some ingredients in the mail and you can cook it. 4 a.m. I got this message. It's been delivered. And then there's then there's a little link in the in the in the message. I noticed that it's a JPEG extension <laughs> and it's a freaking photo of my front door at night at 4 a.m. with the flash on so it looks like a horror movie and there's just the box sitting there in front of the door like I'm here I'm at your door I just dropped off a box of groceries enjoy your meal my heart just like dropped. There's nothing scary about a man dropping off some groceries at your door. But at 4 a.m. and he sends you a freaking photo of your front door with like the flash and everything, that's that's not allowed. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the first edition of Ketchup. I will be back to, uh, Ketchup, Ketchup will be back again, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you um, enjoyed this video, um, join the community. That's the one. Join the community, become one of us, and I will see you next time. Whispa!